It's holiday season, and one of the go-to things to do in Indianapolis is jingle rails at the Idle Jorg Museum. Who is the mastermind behind jingle rails? Uh, so that would be my father, Paul. Uh, Paul Bussey is our founding visionary. Uh, he started Applied Imagination in 1991. Um, the idea kind of behind bringing a garden railway to life with natural plant material was born in the early days uh, when he first started working with conservatories and botanical gardens. How did he come up with the design? I mean, did he, ha did he just do this through just sheer imagination, through applied imagination? <laughs> it's true. Or did, it, did he have like AutoCAD, some sort of, you know, designing layout? No, Paul uh, drew all of his layouts uh, by hand. So we, in our archives, have hundreds of gorgeous layouts that he drew by hand. Um, and a lot of that uh, just came out of his imagination. Um, and, you know, each layout that we do across the country is unique. Uh, we have uh, big displays uh, in New York um, and Chicago. But this at is the, the best one, right? This is the best one, of course. <laughs> okay. um, so when do you begin this particular setup? So we like come up. Like how long does it take? Yeah, you? so this uh, setup takes a week uh, from a Monday through a Friday. We uh, raise the tables and uh, construct, you know, the train tracks that are all around the room right. um, and add and dress the snow blanket and the florals as kind of the final touch. And the very last step is to sprinkle the snow and the glitter um, and then we know it's Jingle Rails time. Natalie, thanks for joining us. Tell us what's new in Jingle Rails and all things Idle Jorg. Yes, so um, Fifth Third Bank's Jingle Rails here at Idle Jorg um, is, is a beautiful place. It's become a holiday tradition. And what's new? And we have uh, done a couple of new things. Okay. One is we've expanded the space. So there's now a whole educational component for families That's right. within Jingle Rails, which yeah, is it's quite beautiful. exciting. Yeah, beautiful. We saw that over there. Great. Um, we also have the Indiana Soybean Alliance Glass Barn <laughs> that is part of the Indiana State Fairgrounds. So that's really exciting for us this year as well. Okay. Um, then also, with your admission, you not only get Jingle Rails, but you get the entire museum. And so we do have a new exhibition that is called Snow Days. Yep. And it's really about all things winter. And um, these are all part of your permanent collection that you've just curated, curated here, correct? That is correct, uh -huh. yes. And so it's from our Western art collection and our Native American art collection. Excellent. So it combines the two. So now we're here with Mike. Mike, we are here in Jingle Rails and it's G-Gauge. That's correct. What is G-Gauge? G-Gauge is about an inch and three quarters between the rails. It can either be, the trains can run either indoors or outdoors. How, how long are these trains running per day? That's the challenge. They run uh, seven hours a day. Uh, so it totals up to 47 hours by the end of the week. And they never break down. Oh, oh, oh we <laughs> wish. <laughs> we wish. No, they're, they're big toy trains. Right. And that's really stressing them to run them that much. So how did you get started with Idle Jorg in doing this? Uh, I had ch trains as a child. So later on, about oh, around 2000 or so, why I got interested in Dragging, dragging them out of the box and seeing what I could do with them. So and now you just volunteer here. Now I volunteer here. Yeah. That's yeah. my dream job. Yeah. To find out more about Jingle Rails and other exhibits at the Idle Jorg, click their website at idlejorg.org. For Great Day TV, I'm Barney Wood. <laughs>